What if the dead warned you of your impending doom? Καλώ ήρθατε στο Read This or Die, μια εκπομπή αφιερωμένη σε εξαιρετικά βιβλία, συμπεριλαμβανομένων ό,τι ονομάζουμε παράλληλα κλασικά. Σήμερα θα επεξηγήσουμε γιατί θα έπρεπε να διαβάσετε το μπλε βαθύ σχεδόν μαύρο του Θανάση Βαλτινού. Αφού εισαγάγαμε το προηγούμενο βίντεο μα περί του Ραϊμόν Καζέγια στα Κατρανικά, σήμερα χρησιμοποιούμε νέα ελληνικά για να εισαγάγουμε το Θανάση Βαλτινό. Θα θέλαμε να υπενθυμίσουμε στου Έλληνε αναγνώστε τη μεγάλη αξία του Βαλτινού και να τραβήξουμε και άλλου αναγνώστε προ τα έργα του. Thanasis Valtinos was born in 1932 in the Greek village of Castri in the Peloponnesus. His family lived in different locations under the German occupation during the Second World War and the posterior Greek Civil War. Later, he began studying political science but dropped it to devote his time to cinema studies instead, which proved a better choice. Eventually, he would write scripts and work with Theodoros Angelopoulos, the well-known Greek director. In foreign countries, Valtinos has been recognized, awarded, translated and read more than other classics of modern Greek literature. He worked in West Germany and in the United States and held the position of president of the Society of Greek Writers for many years. His work in fiction turned him into one of the most important Greek writers of the second part of the 20th century. Currently, he lives in Greece and has been appointed president of the Academy of Athens. This volume contains 12 tales plus the novella The Blue Almost Black, which titles the omnibus. The tales were originally published in a compendium titled You Will Find My Bones Under Rain. Presently, we shall focus solely on the novella The Blue Almost Black. The Blue Almost Black was first published in 1985. The narrator is a mature woman bitterly recalling her life. She used to keep a diary and ponders the possibility of resuming it. This mental discourse makes the text suitable for the stream of consciousness technique that Valtinos chose to use. Valtinos creates a perfect divide between the mind of the woman and the material reality that reminds her, and thus, of the existence of the real world outside. It is as if the gravity of Earth pulled her, and thus, down before we got too close to an abstract inner world. The best example of that is at the very end of the novella, where we read Maybe I should put more order in my thoughts, keep writing them down. But when you read them back, they ring false somehow. And then there's that noise of the paper sliding when you turn the page. Valtinos displays a masterful control of a dark symbolism that draws the reader inside the mind of the protagonist. Regarding the above-mentioned tension between the abstract and the concrete, the sexual references help keep the narration on an existential level. We are human, after all, flesh and bones. Valtinos doesn't want us to fly too high, lest we forget where we come from. Valtinos has influenced many Greek writers born in the second half of the past century, like Michel Fais and Sotiris Dimitriou. Indeed, he is considered to be one of the more important Greek novelists still living. Besides, as we have already mentioned, he is also a playwright. In fact, Deep Blue Almost Black has been turned into a monologue for theatre, not only in Greece, but also abroad. Valtinos is, of course, a member of the Greek Society of Playwrights as well. Finally, we wish to clarify that the 2006 Spanish movie Azul Oscuro Casi Negro translated as Dark Blue Almost Black, is in no way related to the novella we have analyzed. This book, excellently translated and prologued by Jaina Simakopoulos and Stavros Deligiorgis, was published by Northwestern University Press. It's the same house that published the first book we reviewed on this channel, Karel Chapek's War with the Newts. We appreciate the effort required for publishing translations of lesser-known leading authors. I would like to thank Stavros Deligiorgis, 
Emeritus Professor of Comparative Literature at the University of Iowa, for giving me this book when we met in Athens eight years ago. He and Jane Asimakopoulos have continued to translate Valtinos into English, working in perfect tandem. Their latest translation is the novel Orthocosta, published by Yale University Press. We encourage you to read both books. In our next episode, we shall review The Tiller of Waters by the Lebanese author Hoda Barakat. Till then, keep reading and don't die.